EA have just done something that's caused the biggest price crash we've seen in the game so far, so today I'm going to go over what's happened as well as the current state of the market and my investments. So the thing that they did is they promised everyone a 90 rated Holland and a 90 rated Bellingham. As you can see, they're not only going to give us these cards, but they're also going to give us a free universal rank up token that could be used for 90 to 99 rated players. We're going to get the Holland and the universal rank up token tomorrow, as you can see there on November 10th. And then we're going to get the Bellingham on November 11th. This is great for players because it means that we get one of the best center mids in the game that could potentially work his way up to a 94, maybe 95 overall player if Real Madrid keep doing well. And a great striker, not the best striker, but a great striker in the game in Holland. Plus, the fact that they're giving us one of those universal rank up tokens means they're essentially giving us a 91 rated Holland and 91 rated Bellingham if you choose to use that token on them right away. So this is by far the biggest thing they've done for players but it does have a few consequences in the market and as you could probably expect the 93 bellingham center attacking mid card is way down i bought my copy yesterday for 43.3 i think or 43.4 he's now down to 37 point three which is crazy now i don't think him getting to this low of a price is actually his true value i think he is worth more than that but because people are getting the free bellingham and you can only have one copy of a certain player in each team it's likely that people are saying i'm gonna find another center attacking mid and just play the center mid bellingham in my team so who knows how far his price is going to go down something that ea also did yesterday at reset that i found or i noticed is the fact that they now update player prices a lot more before we had someone like Hullet, we'll go all the way down here, who didn't move at 30.1 30 million for like a week or two. And then all of a sudden they've been moving his price every couple hours. So that's great for players in high demand. But what it also means is when people are fire selling a card, the price can go down a lot faster. And so I went to bed with Bellingham worth 45 million. And I guess overnight, it looks like he dropped even further than where we're at right now. It looks like he probably dropped to like 35 or something. Uh, so that's insane. And of course, the other card that will be affected is Holland. Holland hit a peak of 66 million a couple days ago during his UCL match. Now he's down to 50. And of course, the other players that are going to be heavily affected are their gold cards. So because people are going to get a 90 rated copy of them, there's no need to even have a gold version. So I wouldn't be surprised if the 86 rated Bellingham gets sold off quite a bit and the 91 rated Holland. Yeah, you can see 42 people trying to sell them at 23.2. I could see his price keep going further and further down. And the other interesting thing is we're seeing the 92 rated copy of Bellingham go down. And the reason for this is because the new cards, I, I would assume, are going to be live. So there's a chance that the 90 rated Bellingham actually surpasses the rating of this card in a few months time. It'll, it'll probably take until let's say January or February next year, but by then he's going to outpace this card. And even before then, the stats of this card are probably very close to the 90 rated version. So people are just saying, I don't need this copy anymore. So of course, these guys are the ones that have the immediate effect, but we also did get a good striker and a good center mid, which means those positions are now going to have a bit of problems. So for example, Vieira, I bought a handful of him and he got up to over 11 million yesterday. I believe it was 11.1 .1 or 11.3 million coins. And he didn't look like he was going to stop anytime soon. And now that the Bellingham's come out, he's now dropped down to 10.3. Similar thing with Seedorf. He's being sold off. It's the same thing here with Steven Gerrard. We have Paul Scholes. It's the exact same thing. If we go over to Schweinsteiger, same thing. All of these guys are just being sold off. Keen, same thing. Anybody below the 90 that just wouldn't compare to Bellingham are just being sold off. So that's something to keep in mind. And if you guys have these cards, I it's up to you. I don't want to say whether you guys should sell or not. But if we do know a 90 rated Bellingham's coming, they're probably, he is, not probably, he is going to replace a lot of these cards here, to be fair. Out of all the players I've used, the only player that I think would somewhat rival him would be someone like a Hullet, maybe a Balak, maybe a Gundogan. They would be close to his level, but everybody else is probably going to play worse than the 90 rated Bellingham. And of course, it's also going to affect the striker. So for example, I've seen a lot of people use Berbatov. He's now being sold off a little bit more than he was in the past. I don't know how everybody else is going to do, but there's definitely not going to be as much demand for some of these players. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is Bellingham is one of the best players in his position, which means that a lot of center mids are going to be sold off because people are just gonna replace him with them. But on the flip side, Holland isn't the best in his position or isn't one of the best in his position even. So it's not going to affect the strikers as much. 
because for an example here, someone like Samuel Eto'o will actually play better in game than Holland. So it's unlikely he'll be sold off. So with that being said, make sure you keep all of this in mind going forward. The fact that EA have done this this early in the game makes me think they're going to probably do stuff like this again in the future. So we always got to be on our toes and be ready for anything that could affect the market in the future. And so that is by far the biggest crash we've seen so far this year in FC Mobile. I mean, Bellingham going from about almost 50 he hit around 48 49 to go down to 37.3 in the span of i guess six to eight hours is pretty crazy but luckily for us it's not the entire market that is affected so we're now going to go over the current state of the rest of the market first off we have r9 here he's down to 46 million coins this could be in part because of the holland coming out but really, at the end of the day, he's still the second best striker in the game, in my opinion. He was at 50 million coins about a day or so ago. So this is a little bit of a downtrend, but I don't think it's going to last too long. Mbappe is down a couple million, but to be fair, he's been fluctuating between 57 to 60 million coins. So he's at about where he's been for the past little while. Mateus is still holding strong at that 33 million. And as you can see, he's climbing up to 34 because he is the best defensive mid in the entire game. Now, what's interesting is that the 91 Mateus, as you can see there, he actually got up past 17 million. He got up to 17.6 million. And I did sell two copies. Actually, I actually have one of them over here at 17.4, as you can see. I claimed the other one already. But now he's back down to 15 to 16 million, which is sort of weird. I'm going to have to monitor his price going forward. I feel like some of these players, though, are being sold off because people are a little uneasy about what else is going to come out from EA that could affect player prices. And remember what I said yesterday, market sentiment, which is essentially how people feel about the market, usually has a huge effect on what happens. So if people don't feel like their cards are 100% safe in their current value, people will start to sell them off because they don't know what's going to happen in the future. Anyways, moving on, Maldini is hitting new heights up here at 33 million which is insane to see of course he is the best defender in the game so it's fair rudiger actually went from 11.1 or 11.2 million coins about a day or so ago all the way down to like nine and a half million during the weekly reset but as you can see because he is a pretty good card he's actually coming back up in value he's someone i might pick up a couple copies at at under 10 million and try to sell them at 11 for a hundred thousand coin profit or so but i don't know if that's really going to be a play that's worth it something to keep in mind but that also means that the Kyle Walker actually has completely crashed down to 4.4 million. And in my opinion, it's because of the weekly reset for the exchanges. When people open up these packs, they're definitely packing a ton of Kyle Walker because he is a lower rated card. So that's something that's definitely hurting the price, creating a ton of selling pressure, pushing his card back down. So what I expect to happen is for his card to get back up to about the value he was at before yesterday by this upcoming Monday or maybe Tuesday. But as soon as reset happens and the new exchanges come back out, he's definitely going to go right back down. So I bought a handful of copies of him the other week thinking he would go up in value, but I, that was a complete oversight by me. I'm probably just going to try to offload him because it's not worth the ebbs and flows. Over time, he'll probably just keep going lower and lower in price. Maybe he'll come back up when they get an overall upgrade in December, assuming that Man City keeps playing well, but it's something to keep in mind. So what it feels like is all of the players that are the best in their position are actually holding their price fairly well, whereas the rest are a bit iffy. And that's just because people are waiting to get the new cards, as well as people are probably a little less sure that their cards won't be outdated very soon. A big, big play that I made yesterday was I sold off my Eusebios at 30 million coins, and I essentially broke even because I bought my copies at just over 27 million. And I'm really glad I did that because now he's down to 24.8. Again, he is someone who's seen a price drop because there's real uncertainty right now on what's going to happen. So that seems to be the current market, but we also have tons of other things to look at. I mean, this, this really shocked me when I woke up today. Carlos Alberto is up to 56.7 million. When I made my video, I think it was two days ago, I was showing you guys that he was at, I think he was at the time, 47 million coins. And I said, when the Libertadores event ends, he, these players might be going up in value because they can't be packed anymore, at least I don't think. And as you can see here, that lower supply on the market has caused his card to skyrocket. So he has jumped 10 million coins in two days. If any of you invested in them, 
congrats because that's some great profit. Roberto Carlos is another player that's seen insane demand. Once again, he's the highest rated player in his position, so that makes sense. And even Cafu is doing decently well because if you can't afford Carlos Alberto, I mean, 56, 57 million is a lot of coins. He is another great option. But unfortunately for me though, the one that I did invest in is down to 4.8 million. I believe I bought my copies at 5.5, so I'm taking a pretty good hit on him. I'm not quite sure why he had such insane supply yesterday because they should be out of packs unless I'm mistaken on that. But out of nowhere yesterday, there was a ton of him listed on the market. So it makes sense that his price dropped. Now, when it comes to the UCL cards, Holland reacted exactly the way I thought he would in terms of price a few days ago during the Man City match day. As soon as he scored in game and as soon as they won their game, he went in that day from 55 million coins all the way up to 66. And I think the high sale I saw was 67 million coins right after he dropped back down to the high 50s but there was a huge price movement up when he was playing and when Man City was winning. So that's something to keep in mind for the future because I think that could happen again. Now, what's interesting though is for Bellingham, we didn't see the same kind of price movement. And the reason why is because Bellingham didn't play. But I think that's because people are mistaken on how the live upgrades work. Bellingham doesn't need to play to actually get a live upgrade. Players like Bellingham and Holland will only get upgrades and it's only plus one upgrades if their team wins. So if Real Madrid's playing well, he will be upgraded. It doesn't matter if Bellingham's playing or not. Where performance does matter though, is these in-form focus cards. These guys have requirements, and if they do well in game, they will get a bonus plus two upgrade. So because Bellingham wasn't playing, he was actually sold off as soon as the lineup cards came out. He went from 45, 46 million down to 43. And then when the game started and they started winning, his card went back up in price because I think people realized, hey, it actually doesn't matter if he's playing or not. What matters is that Real Madrid wins. So that was something interesting to see, but it did show that during the match days, these guys do have some crazy swings in price. So I'm going to look to take advantage of that next time. And the last thing to talk about for the general market is the four new PSG icons that we got in the UCL event. We have, I don't know how to pronounce this. I don't want to butcher his name, but a new 88 rated right wing. Now, unfortunately, I don't think he, he looks great but I don't think he's going to beat any other high rated right wing in the game. But saying that he is only 10.4 million coins. So for the price, he's definitely worth it. Similar thing with Okocha. He looks great in game, but he's not in high demand because there are plenty of other great cams in the game. Of course, the new Ronaldinho is now the highest rated left wing in the game. So as you can see, he has a crazy price tag on him, 42 million. He's probably going to end up at the same price range as like the Mbappe and guys like that at the 50, 60 million coins. At least I wouldn't be surprised of that because not only is he the highest rated left wing, which we've been waiting for, but he also has insane stats. And to be fair, in this game, there's also a tax on popular players, just like how people love Ronaldo. They love Messi. They love Mbappe. They also love Ronaldinho. So his icon card will definitely be worth quite a bit. And the final one out of the new batch is Ginola, 93 rated striker. And to be fair, his stats look pretty crazy. And the fact that his 89 rated left mid is so good, I assume that this 93 rated version is going to be incredible. The only thing that I think is wrong right now, though, is the fact that he's up at 63 million when you have players like R9 who are at 45 to 50 and Mbappe who are at 55 to 60. I haven't tried him out yet, but going off of how his lower rated card plays, I don't think he'll be better than Mbappe and R9, but I could be mistaken and his card may keep going up in value. So with that being said, that's the end of the current market update. Now I'm going to quickly talk about how I'm looking to invest over the next few days or week. So first off, I don't think we're going to get any new big events anytime soon, which in my opinion means that a lot of the really high rated cards or the best cards in their positions will keep creeping up in price. But I think this Holland and the Bellingham that's come out has caused some market uncertainty, which I think is going to cause some hesitancy with people trying to buy anywhere between like the 89 to 91 rated cards. I think it's going to take a little bit longer for those cards to go back up in price because people now are a little bit more unsure. Players I'm thinking about picking up is potentially some more Mateuses. In my orders here, I actually tried to buy two other Hullets. His price is increasing in small increments. I'm going to see if I could pick another copy up because I think Hullet is a 45 to 50 million coin card. 
in my opinion, so he's got plenty of room to grow. But the other thing I'm looking at is if anything else happens that causes market uncertainty and has some of these players like a Mateus drop down a lot in price, I might go in and pick some up because I do think he's worth more than he even is right now. Of course, the other thing I'm going to be looking out for is new exchanges. We should likely be getting an 87 rated Immobile this Friday. So if that comes out, the City A players will likely be going up. And keeping in mind that we could get random exchanges like we did with the David Beckham exchange where you have a bunch of players that are needed for them. And therefore, I could go invest in them when they do come out and sell them for a profit. So those are things I'm looking at right now. To be honest with my current investments, I'm just going to hold on to them for now. See how the next day or two go. I might have to sell off Fiera or I might use these copies to rank up my copy. I don't know what I'm going to do with Ramirez so far. I have seen quite a few people use them in the Legendary 1 division. So he's got to be a fairly decent card but we'll see how he goes in the future. And for the rest of these, I'm just going to hold on to them. Bellingham, I might actually double down and go and buy some more copies. Because although people are getting a 90 rated version, if this 93 rated card does get upgraded and he gets another, let's say, even plus three upgrade over the next few stages of the Champions League, he'll be a menace. But the other thing to keep in mind is by then we may have plenty of 100 rated cards that are better than him. Who knows? It's all a gamble. We just have to see how things go day by day. Anyways, today was a very long video. If you made it all the way to the end, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.